you're up against a trouble, meet it squarely, face to face. Lift your chin and set your shoulders. Plant your feet and take a brace. When it's vain to try and dodge it, do the best that you can do. You may fail, but you may conquer. See it through. Black may be the clouds about you, and your future may seem grim. But don't let your nerve desert you. Keep yourself in fighting trim. If the worst is bound to happen, in spite of all that you can do, running from it will not save you. See it through. Even hope may seem but futile when with troubles you're beset. To remember you are facing just what other men have met. You may fail, but fall still fighting. Don't give up, whate'er you do. Eyes front, head high to the finish. See it through. tree that never had to fight for sun and sky and air and light but stood out in the open plain and always got its share of rain never became a forest king but lived and died a scrubby thing the man who never had to toil to gain and farm his patch of soil who never had to win his share of sun and sky and light and air never became a manly man but lived and died as he began good timber does not grow with ease the stronger wind the stronger trees the further sky the greater length the more the storm the more the strength by sun and cold by rain and snow in trees and men good timbers grow where thickest lies the forest growth, we find the patriarchs of both, and they hold counsel with the stars, whose broken branches show the scars of many winds and much of strife. This is the common law of life. Figure it out for yourself, my lad. You've all that the greatest of men have had. Two arms, two hands, two legs, two eyes, and a brain to use if you would be wise. With this equipment they all began. So start for the top and say, I can. Look them over, the wise and great. They take their food from a common plate and similar knives and forks they use. With similar laces they tie their shoes. The world considers them brave and smart, but you've all they had when they made their start. You can triumph and come to skill. You can be great if only you will. You're well equipped for what fight you choose. You have legs and arms and a brain to use. And the man who has risen great deeds to do began his life with no more than you. You are the handicap you must face. You are the one who must choose your place. You must say where you want to go, how much you will study, the truth to know. God has equipped you for life, but he lets you decide what you want to be. Courage must come from the soul within. The man was furnished the will to win. So figure it out for yourself, my lad. You were born with all that the great have had. With your equipment, they all began. Get hold of yourself and say, I can. Good character is not formed in a week or a month. It is created little by little, day by day. Protracted and patient effort is needed. The unexamined life is not worth living. I never did anything worth doing by accident, nor did any of my inventions come.
come by accident, they came by work. It is during our darkest moments that we must focus to see the light. The ideal man bears the accidents of life with dignity and grace, making the best of circumstances. We cannot live better than in seeking to become better. The secret of happiness, you see, is not found in seeking more, but in developing the capacity to enjoy less. What you leave behind is not what is engraved in stone monuments, but what is woven into the lives of others. You will never do anything in this world without courage. It is the greatest quality of the mind next to honor. People are like dirt. They can either nourish you and help you grow as a person, or they can stunt your growth and make you wilt and die. We can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark. The real tragedy of life is when men are afraid of the light. Employ your time in improving yourself by other men's writings so that you shall gain easily what others have labored hard for. The only true wisdom is in knowing that you know nothing. Moral excellence comes about as a result of habit. We become just by doing just acts, temperate by doing temperate acts, brave by doing brave acts. The roots of education are bitter, but the fruit is sweet. Beware the barrenness of a busy life. No man has the right to be an amateur in the matter of physical training. It is a shame for a man to grow old without seeing the beauty and strength of which his body is capable. It is not living that matters, but living...